Welcome to a new year. I'm sure we are all glad that 2020 is behind us and we look forward with hope and anticipation that 2021 is going to be entirely different. Even though it didn't look it doesn't look like that right now. But there is always hope and anticipation. This is the time we take stock, reflect on how we would like our lives to be and potentially decide to make some changes. It's an opportunity for a new start, a new beginning, and a small part of our lives. Welcome also to the baptism of the Lord. In the history of the church, we are called upon following the celebration of the birth of Christ at Christmas to reflect on our lives as Christians. Our readings this morning reflect beginnings. Genesis is about the very beginning of the universe. The psalm is about creation. Acts about the beginning of a ministry. And Mark is about the beginning of the second phase of the universe. Sometimes new beginnings are heralded so that we know something is coming in advance. John the Baptist was the man who had the news about Jesus starting his ministry. John came with a singular purpose, preaching the baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. One may ask, why baptism? Why are we baptized? What happens when we are baptized? Is baptism important? Well, Jesus was baptized. If he was baptized, then we can strongly assert that baptism is important. But remember, John was preaching baptism for the repentance of sin. Jesus was without sin. He had nothing to repent of, nothing to ask forgiveness for. Yet, he was baptized as an example for us. If baptism was important for Jesus, it's hard to imagine that it is not at all that important for us. Baptism was and is still a sign that one has resolved to live a life, to live a better life. Baptism is like a precious jewel that explodes with significance. It has many sides and rests not in the drops of water, but the water combined, infused with the promises of God. Christian baptism is one of the most beautiful sacraments of the, of the church that we can experience as a disciple of Jesus Christ. Have you read the baptismal covenant lately? It's on page 304 of the Book of Common Prayer. It is God's mark of ownership. In the Book of Common Prayer, we find the words, You are sealed by the Holy Spirit in baptism and marked as Christ's own forever. Christian baptism is a public declaration witnessed by the church community that we have changed our ways and have made a commitment to follow Christ. It is an outside, outward sign of an inward grace. It is an outward testimony that the Lord has rescued us, redeemed us, and now we are a new creation in Jesus Christ. This proclamation requires a response, repentance and belief. Repentance is an inward change. 
When we repent, we mourn over and turn from our sin. We die to selfish life. We are buried with Christ. And we are raised with him in newness of life. Our baptism says that we have identified with a new lifestyle. A new way of life. A life in Christ. When Christ was baptized, he received an anointing from the Father. The heavens opened, the descending dove and the voice of approval. So, our baptism marks the time when we are anointed to serve the Lord's church. Our baptism shows a willingness to obey God's will. Christ in the Great Commission commands us to go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Someone may ask, what happens in the case where we were baptized as babies? The answer is simple. As babies, we had sponsors and godparents who stood on our behalf. And when we get older, we get confirmed, which is a reaffirmation of our baptismal covenant. Our baptism provides us with a link into Jesus. That is because baptism is a supernatural event. It is mystical and mysterious. It is full of grace majesty and wonder. It gives us the Holy Spirit a sign and seal of his love for us. The Holy Spirit provides us with power and helps us to see things as they really are, to lift the veil that evil puts over the world so we can see things with the heavens open. Our faith which we declare in our baptism and our confirmation means that God looks on us in the same way that he looks on Jesus. So God, the Father, can say to us, you are my son or daughter whom I love. With you I am well pleased. That doesn't always have to be a resolution to have a new beginning. Sometimes a new appreciation of what we already know and change our approach and herald its own new beginning. If we want a new life, if we want to get out of the shadows of misery and into the light of glory, then we have to look to Jesus. In Christ we find freedom, a new life and experience the new covenant. We have to walk as children of light and try to discern what is pleasing to the Lord. We can live a new, whole new way, a way in which we are not dominated or entrapped by sin, but a way in which we can actually produce the fruit of the Spirit. You know, the love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control are not to be seen as some high-handed or some high-minded goal that we try to strive for and that very few of us can attain. The more we allow the Holy Spirit to fill us, transform us, lead us, guide us, purify us, purge us, prune us and empower us to move we will see these things becoming a natural outpouring of our lives. It is not in the doing, but in the being. Christian baptism reminds us of who we are. We are a grace people. We are forgiven people who are being filled with God's Holy Spirit and being restored into God's holy image. We are people who are beginning to understand what it means to live an authentic human life in which more and more we are in a right relationship with God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. 
we are in a right relationship with ourselves. We are in a right relationship with other human beings. We are in a right relationship with God's creation. Our baptism frees us from both the penalty of sin and the power of sin. We have to remember that we have received the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit, which therefore enables us to live a life of consecration and spiritual transformation. Jesus' baptism marked the time when God anointed Jesus in a unique manner. So our baptism marks the time we are anointed to serve the Lord's church. Our baptism should remind us that we are children of light. So does the world know that we have identified with God and his people? Do our friends, co-workers, neighbors, and family know? Are we being faithful to the commissioning and working of, in the empowering of our Lord? Is, God's, is God approving of our service and life for him? Is he satisfied with how we are living and serving him? Is he encouraging us to continue on as we are? Or is he encouraging us to do more, be more, serve more, give more, and witness more? As we enter the new year, resolutions will be made and broken. Plans will be made and discarded. But it's nice to know that with God on our side, we can never dread what is ahead for our gods, for our God holds the future in his hand. Thanks be to God. Amen.